Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be filming the video of building our bulkhead storage. Bulkhead storage is something we've wanted to put in the back van from day one. It just gives us some extra storage to be able to store blankets, any bedding or anything like that that we want to put above it. It's quite a bit of space above the driver and passenger seat so this is a really good area for that extra storage. You don't really need this area while you're driving. Once the storage is in, you do still have space to stand up and move around and be able to get into the back of the van. So we're going to be showing you all the steps that we're going to take to build this storage unit in. So let's go and start that. So today we're going to be working on the bulkhead of the van, as I said. So we're going to be putting a piece of wood panelling around this part just here. We're then we're going to be putting a shelf across underneath so that we can go, we, so we've got some more storage above the heads of the driver's seats. Obviously there's quite a bit of room above the driver's seat and the passenger seat so having that bit of extra storage so we can store towels maybe some bedding and things like that up there would be a nice handy addition so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the old metal bulkhead which we retained we retain this so that we've got a template that we can draw around we can use that to draw around a piece of ply which we're then going to fix back on to the frame of the van once we've got that on there we can use that as a shelf we can attach some battens onto there. We can then put a shelf across, a nice sturdy shelf, be able to hold those items up. So let's go and get the bulkhead and draw around a piece of play. So here we have the metal bulkhead that we took out of the top part at the front. We've retained this, so we're going to now use this as a template to draw around. It's going to be the same shape on the top and the sides, but obviously we're going to keep a straight edge along the bottom, just along here. Then we're going to be cutting an opening in the middle so that we can pass it, things through onto the shelf. Still going to be fixed into the side of the van using the existing holes so we can mark those up as well. So we'll mark those up, get it cut and then we'll show you the final shape. So the piece of board is now cut out. Yeah. You notice one side has got a slightly different shape than the other. This is to go around the door slide. So this is our bulkhead we need to be cutting an opening in the middle of it but so first of all we've just got to run a batten along the top of the roof just so that we can secure this up we'll go and show you where that's got to go but that just stops it from rocking because one side of the one side of the metal is deeper than the other so we just need to go and put a piece of batten across just so we can secure this in so this is where we've had to put the piece of batten as you can see it's just clamped in place at the moment this is just to give us something to screw onto, but also the, the edges of the van slightly further out than the top, so otherwise the bulkhead would be rocking. So we just put a piece of timber across the top, which we're going to put some self-tappers in so they go into the metal of the van. And then we'll be able to screw the bulkhead into this, so the bulkhead is then going to go up in this area just here to give us that nice finished look. So let's go and get this screwed in. So now we've got the batten secured in place all the way across the top. We can now screw our bulkhead onto there. So the next thing we need to do is cut a shelf that goes in above the bulkhead. What we're going to be doing for this is using a piece of 12mm ply that's going to sit on top of these brackets that are used to hold up the interior compartments. Then that's going to sit in the back of here along to the centre console, we're going to sculpt down the centre console and then that's going to be sat on the back of the bulkhead which is, should give us a nice shelf up in this space just here where we can store any blankets and like I said any duvets and things like that. So we're going to go and cut that, so we need a piece of ply that's the same width as this we're then going to do the depth and then we need to work out how we sculpt it into these areas just here so let's go and cut a piece of that. So we've now cut out the shelf, as you can see there's quite a few contours for different parts of the side of the van and the front of the van. So we've got to be in and out the van a couple of times just to try and get the shape. But I think we're pretty much there now. We've also now covered it in carpet, both top and bottom. Really good job fitting the carpet, stapled it around the edges and then just used some of the no-nonsense contact adhesive just to spray the carpet down, just to fix it down, give it that nice secure finish just like we have with other parts of the van. So this is the shelf that's going to go in, we're now going to go and fit that into the van, get it all lined up and secure, and then we can do the same with the bulkhead. We're going to be carpeting the bulkhead as well, so we'll be sticking some carpet on that, and then we've got a piece of batten underneath that's going to be holding the shelf at the back, 
and then we can screw that in and get a nice secure finish. We don't know if we need a central batten yet. Once we fitted that into the van, we'll be able to see how secure and rigid the shelf is. But it's going to be a really good addition to the front of the van to use up some of that space that would otherwise just be lost. So the next part now is to take the bulkhead, and as you can see, we've now cut a hole in the side of it, taking various measurements from around the outside just to make sure that the opening is not going to be snagging on any of the parts of the uh, shelf or any of the parts of the original bulkhead from the van. So we just use a jigsaw to cut a hole out in the middle and as you can see it gives us a nice opening now to be able to pass items through into the storage unit and obviously down here there's a little bit of a lip so that nothing, nothing can fall forward. Unsure on whether we're putting a door on this yet, just yet or whether we're going to leave it open. Uh, once it's in and we've got items in there we can see we can add a door to that later but now we've just got to go in and make sure that it's all fits and then we can screw it into the shelf after it's been carpeted hopefully you can see that up in there but to fix the shelf in place we've just used some of the plastic corner brackets screw those onto the headliner that was there already and then onto the shelf put a couple of those in place just to hold the shelf in place then we're going to be putting the bulkhead on and then screwing in from the end of the bulkhead onto the shelf itself so that will give it a nice bit of support. Nice bit of space in there now so we can store some bedding and clothes and things in there. Looking forward to getting that in, getting the carpet fitted in, getting the bulkhead unit up and then it's all looking good. So the next bit we're going to be doing now is just carpeting the bulkhead and then we'll be getting that fitted up in screwed all in place so it's all nice and secure. So the bulkhead is now all complete. We've screwed up the front facing piece with our shelf. Again use some of the plastic corner pieces just to screw in along the front and then on the top obviously we've got our batten of wood that we've been able to screw into so that gives us a nice finish on the front there. We've got a nice big opening that we can put st stuff off inside. So there we go so there's the finished cabinet from the inside Hopefully we can get a nice bit of light in there, just so you can see how much room we've got. Nice bit of storage inside there, all finished off nicely. Obviously we've got wall cabinets going along this side, and then the roof is going to overlap over the top of those. So those screws you might not even see at all, that we've just used just to screw into that piece of wood just up here. Those are going to be covered by our roof going along there. And there's no screw holes down along the bottom because we've all we've screwed from the inside using some of our corner brackets. So that's a really good job done today. Really pleased about get, getting this in. So I think it was a nice load of storage that we can use. So that's it for another week. If you do like this video and you found the content useful, remember to give us a big thumbs up. It really does help this channel grow. As always, we really thank you for all your support on this channel and helping us grow. We love this community, we love giving back, we love hearing your comments about all of our different videos. If you haven't already done so, remember to hit that subscribe button down here. We would really appreciate you doing that. And as always, leave us some comments down in the bottom and we'll get back to you if we can. If there is any videos you'd like us to produce, then just let us know and we'll try and get a video up for you. But until next time, we'll see you again soon. Bye!